For as long as I can remember, I have been terrified of spiders. If I see one creeping around in the corner of a room, I jump out of my skin. Arachnophobia is considered to be the uh, most common phobia in the Western world, but I wanted to know why that is, because out of 35,000 uh, species of spiders, there's only about a dozen that pose any threat to us. One theory is that our fear of spiders is genetic. A study carried out at the Institute for Human Cognitive and Brain Sciences in Germany, try saying that fast several times, took a bunch of six month olds and showed them some pictures of nice stuff and some pictures of scary stuff like spiders. And the study found that when these uh, babies were shown pictures of spiders, their pupils became significantly wider. The scientists who carried out this study hypothesized that early man developed a fear of venomous spiders, which became a fear of all spiders to keep us away from getting bitten. And then this fear was coded into our genes and passed down. Critics have pointed out that our pupils getting wider doesn't necessarily show that we're afraid. It actually just shows that we're really, really focused. So this study could suggest that we're born interested in spiders. However, it is proven that a fear of spiders does run in families. Some psychologists believe that this could be down to a uh, arachnophobic parent imprinting their fear onto their children, which makes a lot of sense to me considering my mum is absolutely horrified of spiders. <laughs> There's also a theory that uh, a fear of spiders could be caused by what's called spider trauma, <laughs> which is uh, a traumatic event involving spiders uh, early on in life, which can even be suppressed, so you may not even remember that you had that experience. Strangely, a fear of spiders has been found to be cultural. It's almost exclusive to people who are descended from Europeans. It's possible that this is because in the 10th century, uh, Europeans thought that spiders were the harbingers of the plague. Uh, whereas in other cultures, spiders are seen as good luck or even eaten as delicacies. Curiously, most arachnophobes don't uh, list being afraid of bites as their main reason for being cautious. Um, the main thing that they're scared of is their erratic movements and their freakishly long legs. Regardless of where the fear comes from, there are actually spiders that we should probably be afraid of because they can kill us. And the one that has always terrified me the most is the Black Widow. As a kid, the Black Widow was presented to me as the most dangerous spider in the world. Um, its bite is reported to be 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake. And if that isn't bad enough, the females cannibalize their mates after sex. As you may have guessed, it's the lady black widow spiders that you have to look out for. Uh, they're much bigger than the males and can grow to about four centimeters in diameter. Uh, they're usually black all over with a bulbous uh, abdomen. And on the underside of the abdomen, there is a distinctive red hourglass symbol. In terms of habitat, the black widow isn't picky. She will settle for any temperate country and she likes to hide in dark spaces like sheds or garages. So they hide in your home and they eat their own and if that wasn't scary enough, their bite is incredibly venomous. But I wanted to know why uh, their jaws needed to pack such a punch. Interestingly enough, the neurotoxins found in the Black Widow are also found in the common house spider, uh, but the house spider has a much more watered down version of these neurotoxins. And they think the reason that the Black Widow has developed such a strong venom is so it can take down larger prey. They have been known to eat small mammals and reptiles. When prey gets caught in the Black Widow's web, she quickly cocoons it before injecting it with the incredibly strong paralyzing venom. They then use a second row of teeth behind the fangs to mash up their food along with digestive enzymes and then slurp up the food like some kind of meat smoothie. Ugh. But I wanted to know what happens to a person when they're bitten by a black widow spider. Um, and it turns out that their venom is a bit of a cocktail, but the most damaging element is called an alpha latrotoxin. Um, and latrotoxins uh, affect the presynaptic area of your neurons, which is the gap between them. Um, and it causes your neurons to dump out all of their neurotransmitters at once. Your neurotransmitters tell your muscles how to act and how to feel. And with all this information going on at once, your body just doesn't know what to do. And this can cause nausea, profuse sweating, severe pain in the abdomen and back, muscle aches, hypertension, and paralysis of the diaphragm, making it difficult to breathe. And in some cases, death. So I know what you're thinking, with such a deadly spider on the loose pretty much all over the world, the, uh, the death rate must be astronomical, but actually no. 
Uh, the last recorded death from a Black Widow bite was in 2003 in Spain. And uh, that's not because we have an antivenom. Apparently in most cases doctors don't even use it, they just treat the symptoms. Um, and that's because the symptoms are usually very mild. Uh, the only people that are really at risk are the very old and the very young. And in fact, unless you're a male spider, the, the Black Widow is not very aggressive. It will actually go out of its way not to bite you. It will pretty much only bite you if you sit on it, so don't do that. Researching this video made me feel physically sick, and even after finding out that Black Widows are basically harmless, I'm still terrified of them. So in this case, exposure therapy hasn't worked. But if this video did help you conquer your fear of spiders, then tell me in a comment below. Uh, and if you want to see more videos to make you feel queasy, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, don't piss off a Black Widow spider.